Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBCake77.com. If you haven't heard, BlackBerry's actually coming out with an Android device. Never really thought I'd say that, but I think it's a smart move on their part. Anyways, the device is going to be called the Priv, and yes, I will be getting it. So many of you asked. Uh, as some of you guys know, my first videos were on the Epic 4G, which had a keyboard. So you guys all know I really like hardware keyboards. I'm super excited to get it. Expect coverage very soon, so make sure you click that subscribe button so you're notified. But anyways, we got the APK for the keyboard off of the Priv, and you can now install it on multiple Android devices. Some of them might work, some of them may not. Just leave a comment, let you know what device you have and if it worked or not. Anyways, let's get started. Uh, I'll link to the download in the description if you want to download and put it on your device, and let's check it out. So the keyboard's very square, minimal, black and white. You cannot customize the color of it. Right away, you'll notice little words above some of the letters. And if you press on it and swipe up, it's going to select that specific word. So it's going to give you suggestions, which is actually takes a little bit to get used to. But once you're used to it, you're about to type an S and you see the word that you're looking for there. So if I want to type maybe weather, W-H-E. Uh, T. You see under the T, it says weather right there. So I'm going to go up and it's right there. Now there's also some gesture shortcuts. If I want to delete a word, I swipe to the left and that entire word went away. I can also swipe down and it's going to toggle through those symbols. So quickly get to a question mark or an exclamation point. Overall spell correction has been very good and I do like the text prediction as well. Unfortunately, there's no swiping at all, which is kind of a downside. If you don't need swipe, this is definitely a nice keyboard option. You can press and hold on the enter key and get to your smileys. They're essentially the stock Android smileys, which in my opinion kind of need a revamp. Going into settings, there's pretty standard settings, nothing crazy out of the ordinary. In advance, you can learn new words. Uh, key press feedback, you can have vibrate, key pop up, uh, and sound. I actually haven't tested out the sound, so let's listen to it. All right, interesting. So a little noise you heard when you actually misspelled a word and it auto-corrected it, which is kind of nice. But yeah, definitely try it out. See if you can actually get used to swiping up for these corrections. It's actually really convenient when you think about it. But let me know what you think. Leave a comment. Like I said, lots of coverage coming on a BlackBerry Android device soon. So click that thumbs up if you want to see some more. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. Plus. All links in the description below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.